Wait, is bold and beautiful asterisk really asterisk going there? The surprise that's divided fans. Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Valentine's Day has come and gone, but as anyone in a relationship will tell you, that doesn't mean the love that's celebrated is over. Unlike other holidays, our feelings don't get packed away in boxes in the attic after it's passed. And that metaphor may be especially apt for fans of the bold and the beautiful after the show's Valentine's Day promo celebrating romance and love. Because one particularly notable inclusion certainly riled up some strong feelings about where the show may be headed now that the holiday has passed. The clip starts with Finn and Steffi running towards each other and embracing, which is all well and good. It's also very much what we'd expect from one of the show's most popular couples. Though even they had their detractors in the comments. But then the next clip is Brooke and Taylor hubbing. Does this mean what we think it means? We brought the notion of Brooke and Taylor getting together up a little while back on our own, and the readers didn't hold back in letting us know how they felt. But now, Bold and Beautiful really has us asking whether this is their future after all. Now, it should be noted that the promo featured virtually every type of love there is, from parent and child to romantic. So Brooke and Taylor embracing could simply be the love of two newfound besties. But still, that didn't stop the fans from taking notice and wondering if the show was telegraphing exactly where they planned to head with Brailler. And to say they were divided would be the understatement of the year. In the forecamp, there were folks like Clarissa, who wrote, Why do I want Brooke and Taylor together? Crystal Jewell knew exactly why she was all for it, responding, Yeah, I low-key want that too. It will change the pace and that's for certain. Others like Ari Simone were all for it for, let's say, slightly pettier reasons. It would be the ultimate F you to Ridge and the soap chaos we need. Well, it's hard to argue with that. Still, that didn't stop those in the against camp. Dijin Kanashi is struggling with the two getting along at all, let alone if they actually fell for each other. I'm really not interested in seeing Taylor and Brooke become romantic with each other. I'm barely still processing the whole friendship thing between the two of them. Charity Stahl, meanwhile, was handling the new pals better. But that's the only kind of love she wants. Love the friendship, but that's where it ends. And that's a sentiment that was echoed by Lily 71166, who does not want them together. Let's just enjoy this new friendship. They both could use it. Now instead of always going to their kids with all their problems, which is so wrong, they can lean on each other. And hey, we're sure Hope, Steffi, and even Thomas could both use a break, so it's hard to argue against both ladies needing friends outside of their families. But as Gloria Loring and Carl Anderson pot us over on Days of Our Lives, why can't they be friends and lovers? The responses, as you can imagine, at times grew a bit more heated from there. But it's probably best not to dive too deep into the back and forth. But was bold and beautiful really teasing a potential new couple or just celebrating a still tentative new friendship? We guess, like all things, time will tell.